fine because it's extremely passive. Oracle does not rotate, neither does Beastmaster until he gets level 6. Enigma is changed, but uh, she can work uh, a different way right now because I see people not even getting Shadow Strike level 1. Hello, Lion! Oh, yeah, he walked into the wrong neighborhood and he'll end up being the first blood. That was pretty bold coming out from him. You want to see this pop for Chaos because you have... Uh, Beastmaster in one versus one scenario, so he's gonna get a lot of levels and they should trade farm, but Lizzie playing it uh, extremely well, way more creeps and he keeps harassing him using a Thunderclap and Cinder Boo. Problematic. It's not like he's gonna get too much support because of course Misery wants to be farming in the jungle as much as possible to try and just make up that loss of gold Navi is suffering from running this try lane and actually they're gonna get some now as they look on a the HFN, gonna get him low. Going access through, one final tap, and actually, greedily, Seneco takes the kill. That was off the back of them trying to kill Chu. They're going pretty low, but these early boots on the Magnus have... It's gonna nope. be close, but too late. No cigar. Oh, no! No! The oh. tick wasn't in time! He bought Fairy Fire, if I'm not mistaken. It was it so looked quick. Like, yeah. Yeah, I think he did, to actually survive. I mean, that would have got him as well, because that was a level 2 Shadow Strike. Now, skewer back in the back lane. In the bot lane, rather. King's gonna go down. Hey. He strong laner whenever you get close you get harassed couple of uh, hits plus whirling axes oh this oracle man he's he's dead yeah they keep finding him nice backstab from chu they drag him into the welcoming arms of the line from away for the lane to go you see Wee's being punished a little bit in the mid lane definitely having to bring out more regen than magical is at the moment and then of course we don't really need to go over how spectre's doing again that's pretty clear to see. So the real hope right now for Chaos is the top lane. Blizzy. And Blizzy is pretty deep. He doesn't have level six. He doesn't have mana for the TP. In fact, he'll just be dead. He swings more at the way out the Drunken Brawler. Space, I guess. You did drag the Razor pretty far. The jungle is going to have that Helm of the Dominator uh, finished in 100 gold. So they're going to pressure. And pressure that's a good kick for kill. From Rook comes out and Blizzy's all but dead. Malphus will get him very late, one more touch and they should be able to find it, the birds give vision. And there it is, the clicks come out, magical, now looking for some vengeance, won't be able to find it, the misery just quickly. Oh boy, run. Radiance middle Using the board correctly, stunning him down, there's the alpha wolf. Oh no, extra <laughs> oh he's just gone! The alpha wolf indeed, because there's a dominance here and Blizzy just has to run for the high hill. And the Nygma's level 6 right now, that's gonna find misery first. Oh, they are indeed. He does have the black hole. Split's gonna come out. They want to chase on the Tarbo. Malphus and Echo. All the damage too big. The horns gonna come out. Now moving in. Sonic Wave through. Gonna get them low. Misery almost dead. Should tick out anyway, denied. regardless. But they'll ensure it. They get the deny though. Nicely done. HFM moved across. He's tanking up against all this right now. Cyclone in the air. Beastmaster can't assist. HFN just trying to move away. He has got the wand, so they can't commit too heavily. And Blizzy now in a lot of trouble. This Alpha Wolf meaning everything hurts so much. They're going to pursue under the tower. The pings come out. Who wants to kill? You give it across to your spec who's been punished so far. No, actually, Tarbo gets it with the boss. There's my kill. Had a very worrying start. Looking pretty healthy now. Is also going towards that Midas. Just trying to boost up your XP and gold gains as much as possible. Yeah, I mean, you can see what the chaos is trying to do. Once Spectre trying to kill six, yeah, you, you rotate with, with the heroes now even... The cooldown does go down, so they can be active more often. And actually, Navi, the ones looking to get active, they see this push and they're annoyed by it. Split's gonna come out, stun across on the misery, and they're actually being cut out by Weed. The fight is blow up, magical trouble, throws out the Sonic Wave, he's rude on the spot. The Aethos is gonna go down. Vigor comes out, but Razor's so tanky, he just absorbs all that damage and doesn't give a damn. Cyclone up, Oracle for you being control, but troll ward as well. Now the Batron's coming out, there's the RP. Misery, he has got the mana for the black hole, he's 10 mana short right now. Boss Prom is going to keep Tarbo alive, allow him to move away. Misery, he'll just kite it out and kill off Chris Lies, he'll turn around, leave him more. Seneco will go down to Wee on the other side of the fight. But they're not done here just yet, they want Blizzy as well. They'll find the kill on him after getting the tower. And Navi, they gain nothing. Here, especially tier 3s, you can just skewer someone back and uh, that's a guaranteed kill. And then wait for Blink Dagger, off cooldown, and then reinitiate. That's very welcome. Uh, one coming out. They found a target in top lane. Tried to TP away. The magical has been found and killed off. Rooted on the spot. They're gonna lose all tier 2 towers. And you're on a clock. Because you're playing against Spectre, who has Hand of Midas. You're losing all the towers. Yes, your troll is farming, but they have a lot of kiting potential. That's another kill for Wii. Oh, and yeah, there's a horn coming out. They're chasing for more. They see magical. 
But they can't lock him on the spot. Let him get out. For the benefit of the team. Just sitting there telling Spectre, you got your Midas. What more do you need? Back up to 3k gold now, Spectre. Oh, and he's getting out of the RP. Can the two, though? And now the Bout Trance Sonic Wave throwing everything at them to ensure they die. Two ends up on the high ground, but gets a double kill. Kills. Now Wii's the one charge of though. She's magical. Roots him up as well. She should be able to find this kill. Done him up. Black Hole commit to ensure the Queen of Pain will fall. Actually, Tarvo pursuing, looking for more. Does have the... They don't want to commit on him. Still so tanky. Clap will slow him down a bit, but this build is going to fall regardless. His double catapults and a very tanky razor on your high ground. The, the paranoia that's associated with that haunt, right? And you must know that there's going to be a Radiance now on line 4 HFN, or at least you'll find out in a moment. They're about to fight. So it's going to come out. We still pretty tanky. Pulse Promise protect him. Now the Horn in. Snake again. Free low. Already just disappears. And now Magical going to be ruined across on the side. With Fortune's end. I'll actually move away from this. Oh, he's going to come out in the two. Looking for the kill. It's going to get him though. Healing up. Oracle take a lot of damage to sustain him. But the Sonic Wave ends his life. HFA trying to cut through the tree line. Crystallize with the Bounce Attack. There's the BKB going. Wants to kill off the Razor. But a lot of damage to the Magical. He has to retreat. Crystallize is going to be left behind with no resistance. And Blizzy. He can't do anything evil. In the end, they just. Makes sense. <laughs> if you don't have damage, you can't life steal. This is the problem, like, he landed a two-man RP, even with the Spectre using the Haunt. It's gonna be tough, like, this game could actually end. They popped five ulties, and it there is. it is. GG's called. It's GG out. I mean, it's definitely true that, that we is so dominant in that fight. It's just, the more you actually figure about the interaction with the Balatrons as well, you're basically a dog on a leash following him around. A very well, uh, well an obedient dog. These seem to be very heavily in on the burst logic. Yes, the question is if you don't kill them with that initial jump. That he would harass more and he can farm uh, jungle more efficiently with it. He does not have enough mana to actually use burst. That's the first block. Oh, uh, the questionable one. It can pretty hot so far in this lane. Dominating the CS chart. Already has level 6 and immediately you see we just move away from the lane knowing that if he shows his face, he'll get a Laguna to it. Under Double damage plus Laguna. He needs to fall back to the jungle. Like, what's th this is what bothers Radiant me? What's the point of having poison off. attack right now? Like, you would farm jungle faster, you wouldn't die there because of all the harassment kind of coming out from corrosive skin. Oh, harassment in the bottom lane in the meantime. HFN goes down, and King might join him here. The body blocks are decent. Need to get another hit out the south, but it won't keep him alive. The Ether Shock gets the kill, and Chu suddenly has a lot of money to work with. He's going to be very, very close to having those arcane boots at a very good time. Meanwhile, uh-oh. Look who went hunting in the jungle with that DD you were talking about, Magic. The three kills in less than a minute, and they're continuing to play aggressive. This double damage, Lina is not stopping. There's still Laguna Blade up and running. That's a secured kill on Razor for sure. He just yep. back to a lane. Nice. About the damage as it is about the control. Well, you have to wonder how they're going to play it when you're talking about avoiding the offlane and the Razor in the save. Do you actually give the Razor this focus on tanking up or this focus on damage? I mean, that's the beauty of the hero, right? You just get damage through static links anyway. Oh, uh, there's problems. They've actually lost Rubik. Tavo moving forward on a snake. Good, looking for the kill. Can we slow down with the daggers? Tavo got a sidestep. That keeps him pretty damn healthy, but he can't find the Bane kill. Things are coming out now, but maybe a little bit too late. A Seneca will walk away. Yeah, Lena on a mid lane has Laguna. V does no, not have. Lena like this. Should be a kill. Life Striker Ray does get it's blocked. Mana. Life Strike comes out. No mana to work with a Fairy Fire trying to win the battle, but we he might just get a no. Magical. Is he going to tick out to the corrosive skin? It looks like he's going to be fine. TD back to base. People on the bot lane. There's going to be a kill to disrupt. The vengeance must be had though. Chu will die for it. And he's paying the price for the build that he went for instead of maxing out corrosive skin there to poison to poison attack and uh, nicely what are these runes every time she's being pinged out they know the back up will they the move king uh, shows his face and gets killed with the lagoon of five strikes gonna come out shackles locking the spot she says go just get the hell out of dodge i'll stay here i'll tank the return kill And we did pick it up as well, so they're going to inflate his gold a little bit, game ever close to that ATOS. There's still a substantial lead for Lena over the Viper, though. Top. 
the Nightmare and Arp. They do saw the Time Walk use. They might try and go for the Void. They've got the big crits available to them. Can they get them, though? Tarvo, turn around. Look at the opportunity. Seneca going to get him pretty low. The Six are coming out to keep him up and alive. But no, Tarvo, he'll get away. The Time Walk just in time and out. Crystallized trying to escape. But HF Finn is in hot pursuit and does have the Static Link. Decides against using it. Nice done by Tavo, saving that uh, magic wand until the end. He had the Chrono to work with after this creep wave, but uh, good thing that he went back because Lina just TP'd. Meanwhile, the Bolain King actually dying here. They swapped the roles. Uh, King Guard D uh, used to play four, now he's playing five, and Misery's back to four. Like I, I don't know, Misery's back to time. What is it buying time for though? He doesn't have a TP. They'll just try and waste a little bit of their time, but a death should be inevitable here. Unless the Black Dragons have something to say about it. Brain Sap to try and get the timing right, but HFN tanked all the aggression from the creeps. Farm the side lane smoke from Chaos. Dyer's middle tower is under they want to use this Chronosphere. Yeah. They realize that we should kill Radiant's Phantom Assassin. Tower. Bane has grip. Needs to get a grip. Maybe on his own life. They'll try and burst him down quick enough. It's going to be close though, boys. Just about dies though. Can't get the Chrono out in time, but they might pay a price. Seneco trying to distract them to slow down King from moving across. But they've already stolen the Fiend's grip and they're using it onto the Phantom Assassin. Punishments must be had. Seneco dragged back to his own death as well. It's a double kill for the Razor. Good threat. Charge for Blizzy. Going to lift it back though. Stuns up Lena in the process. He's got the split and wants to use it. King does have the Static Storm. Are oh, they going to look to turn around? They might. They drop it down. Blizzy in a little bit of trouble. Static Link is on him. They need to buy time for the Light Dragon Ray, but too late. Blizzy is dead. Nice. Tribal. Needs to get out. Can he find it, though? Glimpse going to drag it back, and he's in a little bit of trouble. The Nightmare does come on a race. Can they fight against this Light Dragon Ray there? They need to back to control up and make sure the Lagoon doesn't come out. She's trying for the kill. Oh, Misery man. just about staying alive there. Dodgery, but uh, Bane gets the deny on the tower, which is pretty huge. Road of Aetha, Viper coming in. That's a for us. kill. They do at least get someone out. Tarvo with the double kill. And they need for a while. This has amplified their ability to chase. There is a Shadow Blade being queued up for Tarvo. Has already got the Vlads. Hey, lane. Like coming in. Atos going to be there. He actually dropped the Serpent Wars. Misery. Already going down. The split's going to come out. And we in trouble. Needs to escape fast, but can't. Going to get hexed up. There's the Laguna for us. Enough to just burn him down with each shock and the Dragon Slave. And now, Life Strike Array off the mark. King able to move away. Does have the Static Storm. Tarvo moving across. Chrono's going to be there on the Shadow Shaman. Love the Static. Link is still on the Seneco. It's going to stack up a lot of damage, but Yule's up in the air with the Cyclone. He can't do anything. In the meantime, Disrupt is going to go down. Still nightmare up. They're playing out Razor perfectly. Tarvo trying to free him, but the Light Striker Raid perfectly times him. Uh, he has this Vlad build, but uh, he's also going to transition into Damage Dealer, which uh, I like. Getting a Shadow Blade and then grabbing a oh. BKB would be huge. He's going to go in. Time dilation he's, on cooldown. He's trying to get a bash. That's what it is, but he doesn't get the luck on his side. And Tarvo does have the time walk away, but he cannot save we, uh, HFN's life, rather. And uh, and bash and some GPM. Yeah, they'll give him some crit, crit yeah. passive as well. I mean, why not? It's Frodo in there. Oh, the gonna go go in. He's going to throw the Serpent board. They have Stun. a catapult oh, He's grip out as well. They're trying to glimpse away. It's too late, though. He's already down. And as you said, Shaman in the bot lane drops the Serpent for someone back. We'll get one hero to return, and that means that Tarvo's left behind. He needs to move out. They got the split, they got the blink. Lizzy can go forth for this. Pat's gonna be there. Split's no. Oh, interrupted. Nice nightmare coming out from Misery just in time. And Tarvo gonna keep running. He was gonna be there. On to the Rubik though. He may pay the price. And no, no. Tarvo, he hung around. There's gonna be a lift. Misery, he gives his life to ensure Tarvo can live. These, these wards, scouting them out. Every single movement from Chaos. Oh, Glimps back, Static Storm's there. They ruin him up to make sure he can't escape. Ruin Master's just trying to get outside to use that split. He won't get a chance. HFN's gonna get a lot of damage. They'll cyclone him up in the air, but he's gonna keep stacking that damage from the Static Link. Misery holding on the Fiend's Grip wants an opportunity. Yule's coming out. Actually, hold the lead. The Fiend's Grip's been thrown out. The Pings are there. They're trying to disrupt it. They bring him back with the Glimps, but it's too late. Tarvo already gone. HFN gonna charge forward, forces him out. Lizzy, the split has ended now. He's going to try and tank up a stand against it. And on the side, the beam oh, has turned around on the two. Is it enough, though? We trying to run for the high hill, trying to get a kill as he retreats. But it's a triple kill for the leader. And they're not done just yet. They're going to find another one on the side as Misery gives his life. Left on the Aegis. They want to try and quickly use it to secure this tier one tower. But Tarva. Chaos will take that up. fight. They will do. Tarvo is waiting for an opportunity. Seneco getting clipped here. Takes a lot of damage. Nightmare coming out onto Disruptor. They want to try and hit the Light Tracker and they can. They want to get rid of the Laguna. Going to get pretty low. No, he can't get the Glimmer Cape out. The split's going to be there. Forces Tarvo away. Stunned up Misery. Going to retreat as well. 
Cyclone up onto the void. Snap the slice jumping. Oh my god, the damage moving. Just be melted so quickly. HM Ben turns around the static link, trying to take the damage whip here. The Chrono, no, it's blocked. Zero man he Chrono. He's not the beast grip at all. It catches no one. As a revolt, the Viper's gonna go down and HM Ben chasing more, but taking way too much damage. Tarbo moving across the world. The Nako will fall, but HM Ben, he's running. Buyback comes out from the Viper trying to help on the back line. The shackles are there. They've locked Wee in. And now Carbo needs to start bashing. We'll get one. But there's going to be an invis move coming out from Chewy. Complete the Glimmer Cake. He'll retreat. They'll farm the wards. But that was not the fight the Chaos were looking for. Chu can't secure a kill on the HFN. He has to give us. Like Misery could simply cease to exist. They're moving in right now. That cross. Hex is going to come out on the Razor. And we wait. Nightmare's going to be on Ruby. That's a look good as well. The Shack's holding in place. Razor. Going to go down. No. No. He's just about live. But he's shooting the guy on the end. He's staying alive. The Glimmer won't save his life. The Chrono completely wasted. The Fees group turn around. They get the kill. The boy. The buyback comes out. The Razor. But it may be too late. They're losing more heroes. The split's going to be there as well. Viper trying to retreat. But can't hit Jeff Ben. Getting insanely low. Trying to turn around for the kill. of Seneca. The Yule's up in the air. Comes down. But the BKB's still running. They're trying to get him with the damage. Crystallize needs vision so you can throw out the dagger. Meanwhile, in the main fight, they've brewed up. They've actually split them. No! PA got banned and has to return to the main fight right now. But Lena getting preloaded. Bash is coming out. Tarbo, look for the kill. They're going to turn around low on the wing. Get him. Stuns are there. Tarbo needs to run. Shadow Blade, but the dust reveals him. He's got the time walk. We'll get up to the high ground. But Navi, they have their main. Laguna Blade is going to be ready soon, but she does not have much mana to work with. Big issue. Laguna, big chunk of damage, big chunk of mana as well, though. Misery. Yeah, Insta Glimmer Cave says no. The only part of that is a 1.3k HP hero who almost disappeared to a single dagger. I gotta go for more. They're feeling pretty greedy. Jump in by Misery gives his life, so they can actually put down the connect kill, but it's too late. That's just it. I know. That's a GG. He's like, what was the point of that? <laughs> they, they realized this game is over. Good execution from Navi. I think. And, and, by the way, what, what happened to Razor? jungle and the teams got better realizing how they need to play against them. They shut him down completely, tier 1 tower falls. Chen creep, we will be denied every such pleasure in this lane. It doesn't really matter because Lina is out of mana. Anyway, it reminds me of the gang that uh, we witnessed yesterday where uh, Arteezy tried to gank with Ursa who had no mana like level we? 4. One more okay, hit. He no! The stick, one more hit coming through, just toggle him with the mana. Nice attempt by Wee though, he was baiting him with the salve and then switched it around with the mango. Magical saw was up, stays alive. Rune's coming out, snake goes secure one. Misery, uh, that was a mistake. He went better to get it for the first blood, already drawn in the bot lane in fact. As they'll find a kill on the king, they'll find one on the top one to Misery. And they're gonna keep chasing down actually, they'll be able to get Tarbo as well. Crystallize clapping into his face with the big swings of these swipes. This lion was doing a really good job pulling. He even killed the observer ward, some extra gold for him and uh, extra XP. Now he even has full tranquil boots. Basically, he does not need to go heal ever. Doing pretty good. He's gonna go back to collect him now. Me on the top lane. Hey, Jeff Ben, looking for an escape route. He gets blocked off by Blizzy. What a savage way to end a man's life. TP him back out. If they see this haste rune. Lena needs to get it first. But magical, he does move quicker. We gonna throw the light tracker out. Connects on the two, but no, Chu, he's the one who grabs it now. It's a three on one scenario. Lena has no escape plan. Even Chu gets safety. He's just using it to so they can waste mana on him. Tranquil boot still up and running. Misery. This may have made a mistake. As you'll find out very quickly. Turns around trying to hit the snaker, but it's a little bit too late, or is it? Can he buy enough time? He's got the chain lightning, turns around, decides actually not to go for it. It's too late anyway. The fairy fires. Turns out Chen had two of them. Well, it does not bear fruit. Chaos okay, still didn't get a single kill in this game. 6 0 for Navi, and they're putting some pressure on a mid tower. Oh, dumb stun. Blizzy with the clap. The split's going to come out as well. They're looking to punish Lena and the Oracle. Maybe they can do so. We light strike Ray out, trying to move away, but Blizzy chasing. With the rocks being thrown out, they'll secure the kill on the Lena. They won't be able to find King, though. Do at least find the big one, and they might transition this into a tier 1 push. Stop. You've got creeps coming in. Misery's going to linger around, but it's 
kind of hard to actually push into him. Even if he doesn't have that sap, even if he's only level 4. While that's happening, Tarvo in the bot, they, they might die. Tarvo's in trouble. The splits come out from Blizzy straight away without hesitation. And Weez here as well with the Arcane Ring. One skip Light Striker A opportunity, but he gets Cycloned up. They spotted him out. Nice scout from Blizzy. Will unable to move on a Venomancer and kill him off. And False Promise protects his life. Gale comes out. Now they're going to turn around. The fingers there. Lena gone so quickly in the blink of an eye. Gonna hunt for more. Chris Lies isn't done just yet. He wants something out of this. The Doom's gonna be thrown out onto the Brewmaster. The turn around. Try to do damage. Hannah got to keep him alive and pretty healthy. They disarm the Ursa, but he's running forward. Looking to pull towards him. The stun's gonna check on the Tarvo. They rage activate. That's enough to bring down the Venomont. With that, they might transition into a tower push as well. Now they're playing this uh, extremely well enough gold. Looking to ramp up the pressure. Navi. I mean, they've got their boot on the neck of the beast, and they're not going to let loose. Mid. Oh, B. We'll turn around for Light Strike, right? Beautiful side step by Blizzy, and the snake gets the kill. That should be a put. looking like a unit. They're going to smoke up and move out. Blizzy wants to make use of this Blink Dagger. He has a split available, and he has a DD. Also, Crystallize has a Blink Dagger. Oh. It gets gone, but they beat them in. The split comes straight out. Now we use we running for the high heels, but cycloned up in the air. They're gonna look across on the king, just trying to zone him away. And now they're gonna drop we down to his death. They bash him out. They stun him up. He's in trouble. He's one more hit. The range is there. Crystallize gets it, moving across to the king as well. He can't move away quick enough. They do can ball through. There's a lot of damage and the big fat crit coming out from Blizzy. And not magical, but how do you kill the Medusa in time? Oh, can they get the Corio? No, drop nope. to use. Gets out of range. Now the jump is gonna come. Carbo in trouble. Stunned up. The crits are big. The fingers well. Nope. Face he didn't protect his life, but not for long. Blizzy with the big crits. The Doom's going to be thrown out onto the Brewmaster. But he's already used his split before. Two trying to escape. Can't do it, though. And now the Battle Trance activate. We'll rule up Brewmaster. So they kill two. But the tower still... You know, we learned we were a little bit too aggressive, but that doesn't mean we're wrong to be aggressive. Blizzy moves forward. Doesn't catch with the clap, but they're going to stun up onto the Venomance. So the concern if he's leveled into his ultimate, but he hasn't yet. They turn around with the Gale, moving across on the tube, but he knows it's too late. With Magical here, there's just too much damage. The problem is they don't have any kind of mana burn against the, this Medusa, and she is getting out of control. Manta style, level 16, zero deaths on her, pressuring the tier 2 tower. And they're fighting oh, well. Troll Warlord in bottom lane. Yeah, he's in trouble. Hey, Jeff, man, the one who's meant to farm against this Medusa lane. Can't do anything right now. Just goes down, doesn't even get a chance to use the Battle Trance. Meanwhile, in top lane, they force out the Stone Gaze, but you just run away. You, you can't fight into it. As you said, no mana burn. Not enough damage. So you, you can pretty much fight whenever you're ready. Uh, Speaking of Ursa, uh oh. He's found a target, Tarvo. He knows he's dead. There's nothing he can do against this. Chase, though. They can deal with the split push. One TP's back, and Chen just recalls him after troll TP's. So no TP. We know, so going back right now. Magical, nice dodge coming out. And now who? Getting so low on HP. Won't even get a chance to throw out his ultimate. Doesn't have a buyback either. 300 gold short. Magical standing his ground. Just hitting his buildings. And Crystallize has returned. That's got the blink. Awkward scenario is they've only got halfway through the Medusa's mana pool. And look at that. Just gets it back. Now jumping in. Not gonna slow people down. Yules onto the Brew Master. Gets sidestep though. Doesn't hit the Light Strike array. Can be one lane down. I'm not that sure if Na'Vi have satiated the hunger though. It can't be the Medusa. It can't be the Ursa. And they got spotted. Well, they know about it. Things coming out. Magical stand on the high ground. Nice man dodge out again. They jump in with the Doom being thrown out. Over the Ursa. Try to throw him up. Miss again. Pretty low. Stun for on it too. Stone Gate's been activated. They're trying to get rid of the Medusa, but they can't. They have to deal with it right now. False Promise comes out of the troll to keep him alive. And it will do exactly that. But for how long? They're running weed down. Getting them low. Already got rid of the Oracle. HFN running towards his bounce. Needs to heal up. By bat's gonna come off of Venomanta. And Na'Vi, they don't even know what casualties are. They move in. They are gonna make sure that Chaos pay a price for their attempted backstab. And that price might in fact just be the game. Let me tell you a story. Na'Vi is back. Like, Chaos can't call this game because they have nothing else to do. Doom is used. Look at HFN. He's having fun. He's just... Playing a few games of Crystallize. A little bit of kid change. Gonna turn around. Rage gonna come out though. And HFN. Uh oh. This might not go well for him. He needs to back away. Meanwhile, on the base, there's gonna be a kill on the Wii. GG comes out. They know it's over. Chaos. Loose to Navi. Navi take it 2 1. <laughs> and HFN. There we go. He gets him just in time. <laughs>
Good performance by Navi. I feel like uh, Chaos did the same.